Oh boy, he looks rough today. Look at those eyes. Oh my god, he looks so terrible. Hi guys, so today I'm doing something a little different for a video today. So, a few months ago I think I did a video where I tried on really weird bag and saw face masks. But, there was loads of face masks I saw in the store the other week I think, which I thought, Oh my god, I need to try. Not only have I found really weird face masks, I also found really weird like hair masks and nose masks and... Um, glittery things, so I thought, you know what, I'm just make a part two today where I try on all these really weird masks. So, yeah, that's the video today, guys. If you're excited for you guys, I love you, I Don't forget to also leave a comment as to what we'll do next time. And so, yeah, let's get into this video and hopefully, um, this, these masks will make my face look better. Okay y'all, so yeah, let's do this. Obviously I went to the store and got these really weird face masks. So we got this glitter face um, hydrogel glitter mask. Apparently it's like glitter that you put on your face and it's supposed to somehow make your face better. So I'm not sure how this goes. So I mean, it'll be probably my first time trying a glitter face mask. So what I might have to do is because these face masks like you know take like 20 minutes or so to dry and then peel off and things i don't think i'll be able to do all the face masks on all in the same day which is today so i'm gonna film some clips of me trying these face masks today and then i'll film some more clips over the coming days of me trying these face masks on so today i'm gonna try this glitter face pink face masks Hi guys, today I'm going to try the purple glitter one, well I think it's purple. Okay, we've got the purple um, hydro gel glitter mask, so I'm going to try that today actually. So I'm going to do it from bed today because I'm extremely tired and I don't want to get up, so you're going to have to just put me to bed today, but anyways. Okay, this is probably not a smart idea to do on my bed because like what with all the face mask grease like get off my bed like that would not be good. And then you just slop on your face like so. Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> oh my god, this is the most horrible thing ever. Okay, so I think it's on. I'm really not sure. Do I look attractive, y'all? Like, do I look good? Okay, so it keeps sagging from my face, so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or this thing just doesn't stick, but how many minutes supposed to leave this thing on? 20, 25 minutes? Okay, there is no way I'm gonna be able to have this face mask on for 20 to 25 minutes. Like, are you freaking kidding? Like, I'm already struggling to keep this on for like a second already, so this is not gonna last 20 minutes. I'm gonna take a good guess that it'll last probably about 10 seconds. I can already feel it second. Okay, so it's been about a minute now, and I'm gonna say this in the most respectful way possible. This thing is utter crap. If I could give all the negative numbers, like, in all the world, then I'll give this a negative 100 out of um, 10, because this thing's crap. So anyways, I'm gonna head on to the next thing now, so hopefully the next thing will be not as crappy. Right, so another weird face mask is this foil face mask, so I don't know about this one guys. Like I remember in like the last video, like some of the face masks with these like kind of materials, like flimsy and things, like I'm not sure about this foil face mask. Hopefully it isn't flimsy, but the sound of having like really thin foil on my face sounds quite, I don't know, it sounds like it's going to be very flimsy and things, so I don't know, we'll see anyway. Bam. There she is, in all of its glory. So basically this is the golden foil face mask thing, so... Oh my god. Ew, it smells of sick. Like I'm not gonna lie, this thing literally smells a mix. Like fragrance and vomits. Like what the hell is that all about? Okay, so I'm presuming this part is like the head part, because it has like eyes and stuff, so... I'm gonna put this on. Oh my god, it's cold. <laughs> Oh god, it's freezing. Oh my god. Okay, it's finally starting to come together now. And there you go. Here's my foil face mask. Okay, so we'll say that this thing's actually quite good, despite it smelling like literal vomit. Like, this thing is literally sticking on, and it's kind of like 
I don't know, doing what a face mask should do. So I'm happy with that. So how many minutes are you supposed to lose on that? Okay, so it says here, leave the mask on 15, 20 minutes and relax. But don't forget that selfie. Okay, so, I mean, it looks stupid, but I mean, I guess it's good, I guess. Two hours later. Okay, so I think it's been probably around about 10 minutes now. I don't know, I haven't really put a timer on, so I think it has. So I'm gonna take this thing off right now, so yeah. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. This thing's actually dried up, so before when I put it on, it was like quite wet, but this thing actually kind of dried up, so yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so to be honest, I'm kind of glad to take that off because that was probably the most uncomfortable face mask, but to be fair, I'm not really a person for foil face masks anyway, like, I always find, like, jelly face masks or foil face masks or sheet masks quite uncomfortable anyway, but if I also find sheet face masks comfortable on my face, and if I liked sheet face masks, then I probably would have rated that a good old... 9 out of 10 because even though it actually stuck on, like the purple one was horrendous, like it never stuck on, but that one actually sort of did, so that was quite good for me. So I think the only problem was it was quite wet and cold and greasy, like that's the only problem we have here, but we'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, so we have here the antitoxidant clay mask. So I actually saw something on TikTok the other night where he took like a bath in like mud basically well not only really, like outside mud like the dirty mud like a clayey kind of face mud and it looks pretty good but i'm gonna try the face version of it so obviously as you can see the picture here you're supposed to put like this like clay mud on your face and it's supposed to help brighten and nourish skin so yeah it's also enriched with blueberry extract as well so and it's also vegan so we're gonna try this thing on right now and see what it looks like Right, so I've got the clay mask thing here right now, so yes, I look rough because I'm tired y'all, so I've been out and I had probably the most horrendous journey there, I think I've already mentioned on my vlog channel already, but basically I've been out and um, it started pouring it down and I went on the bus and things like that and it was all chaotic, but anyway, so I got this clay mask thing right now, so I'm not looking forward to using it, you know, because I'm not really a huge fan of like, having clay in my face, but hopefully it'll sort of Work. Okay, there's like no instructions either. Like these were all the instructions. Like they're all very small text, and I guess you leave it on for about ten minutes or something. So I'm just gonna put this on right now, and then. Bob's your uncle. Oh my god, it smells very strawberry -y. Oh my! It's coming out of like clay powder. <laughs> See, it's got like clay puree kind of thing, and you're supposed to kind of like spread it around your face. So I'm gonna put my hair up. Hopefully, it stays. <laughs> I'm gonna freeze it. Oh my god, that's so cold. Okay, doesn't look bad. Okay, so this looks, I literally look like a moon. So I'm just gonna leave now for around about 10 or 15 minutes because it didn't come with instructions like it doesn't tell you how many minutes you're supposed to leave this thing on so I'm just gonna be fair and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes like usual with other face masks and see what happens. Model time! Okay, so this looks incredibly stupid, so I'll meet you guys in 10 minutes. Right, so it's been a, about 20 minutes later now, I think. I left it on for about 20 minutes until it's like really drying things, so I didn't really vlog myself taking off the uh, mask, so I do apologise, but it was literally so hard to take off, so it's not like the peel off masks where you can like peel it off your face. You had to like proper go at it with like a sponge, like proper like get it off your face, so it's quite hard. I think I'm gonna rate that probably about 7 out of 10 because it's a good product, I'll say that, like the product was good, it smelled good, it um, looked good and to be honest I have no doubts that it could do something to the skin in a positive way so hopefully it kind of like nourishes my skin and all that so I have every faith that it could do that but the only like negative thing I have about this face mask thing is one 
it does not feel nice at all. Like, when you touch it, like, it doesn't feel really nice. It doesn't feel smooth. It feels, like, very sandy and gritty and things. Like, every time you touched it, like, it never really felt comfortable. Like, I never felt comfortable, like, touching it because it just, like, felt sandy and gritty and things. And then also, like, trying to take it off my face as well was quite a challenge, so. Other than that, like, it was quite a good face mask and things, so I'm gonna rate that 7 out of 10, so. I'm gonna now go to the next face mask right now. Alright, so I got here this two step lip kit. So this is kind of reminding me of the Kylie Jenner lip kit thing, but instead it's just a cheap um, lip mask version. But basically, you got like a two step kit. So this is a raspberry sugar lip scrub. So it's like an exfoliating like liquid that you put on your lips and it's supposed to exfoliate your lips. So that's what you're supposed to do for step one. But then I'm presuming after you do that, you're supposed to put on step two which is this um, collagen lip mask so it's like a two-step lip kit thing so I'm kind of excited to try this actually and then we got this purifying gold nose pore strip so they're just simple strips which you put on your nose and I don't know and then the product which I'm most excited about is this um, hair mask thing so it's like wearing like a hat essentially and you're supposed to put your hair inside this like bag and you're supposed to leave it for some time and it's supposed to remove frizz and detangle your hair and things so I'm actually quite excited for this actually so yeah so I'm gonna try all these three things right now and then yeah Right, so it's a new day, new dawn now, so today I'm going to try her treatment and then also the lip kit. Wow, my hand was like in the middle. So we've got this lip kit thing right now, so I'm going to try both at the same time. So first one, I'm going to sort out this her thing and then this lip kit sound. Looks right at. Open the cap using the tab and apply the cap to clean her. My hair is clean because I took a shower this morning. Ensure the cap fits comfortably around the head. Adjust using the adjusting tab on the hair cap. Okay, so it looks like this. It literally looks like a nappy. There we go. Okay, so I think that's how you use it. I think it's supposed to kind of like massage the liquid into your hair. And there we go. Here's what my hair cap looks like. Okay, you're supposed to now wait for 10 to 15 minutes to make it work, so that's it's gonna be a very long 10 to 15 minutes. Alright, so I've got step one now of the lip kit thing. So this comes like two steps. So step one, you apply the scrub to dry lips and massage gently to exfoliate and smooth your lips. Okay, so this is the lip scrub thing here right now, so I need to try and open that. So you then apply it to your lips. Oh my god, I'm not looking forward to this at all. So da I hate this so much. Oh god, I am literally hating this thing so much. So it doesn't say how many minutes to post that you want, so it says just scrub it and then win rinse off. Rinse off? Rinse off. So you're supposed to massage you like kind of like exfoliate your lips. Okay, so that's enough lip scrubbing now, so I'm gonna rinse this thing off now, and then, yeah. Two hours later. Alright, so I've just scrubbed off all the lip thing now, and honestly, that was horrible. Okay, so this is the thing I hate now. Oh my god, I think oh, this is not doing anything at all. Like, this is literally falling for a thing. Oh my god. Hmm? <laughs> nah, and it just fell off. How are you supposed to leave this thing on for 20 minutes? Like, this thing will not stick at all. And now it's like stuck in my trainers. So anyway, so that was rubbish, so I'm not going to use this. I don't know, it must be something that I'm not doing right or something, but this thing will not stick on, so if you guys can teach me how to apply a lip mask, then that will be much appreciated, but otherwise, that was probably rubbish, and I do not like this lip mask at all, so this thing's going straight to the bin. Right, so now I'm going to take this hair mask thing off right now, so you're supposed to rinse your hair off after you take this mask off, so... I'm gonna take this thing off, rinse my hair, and then we should be all good. Ta da! Yeah, it feels like the soap has like gone on like the majority of my hair, so that's good. So now I'm gonna take a shower right now to rinse all this off, and then I'll be back with you guys. Right, so I've just went in the shower now, I've got to rinse my hair off, so I don't know, it'll take probably a few, I don't know, 
probably the whole day to like find out if it actually does something to her but other than that like the experience of having the her mask thing I thought at first was quite bad and I thought it would be a horrible experience but Turns out having the her mask thing wasn't that bad at all. Like, I actually liked wearing it, so I'd definitely go buy those her masks again. So I'm going to rate that a 9 out of 10 for that one. The lip mask, I'm going to rate that 10 out of 10. However, make it negative 10 out of 10 because that was honestly horrible. It must be something I'm doing wrong or the lip masks I have are generally rubbish. But either way, it was still horrible so yeah the lip scrub thing I don't know personally I don't like having things on my lips so I guess I can rate that um, a 5 out of 10 just to be fair and um, yeah but anyways um, my hair looks good and my lips look half good I'm not sure so yeah um, I think that's it now for the body mask Hi guys me in the future here so basically I don't think I did an outro for this video so I'm just going to do a simple outro here right now, so I hope you guys liked this weird, strange video. I know it's a bit of a boring-ish video, like just watching me review masks and things, but I hope you guys sort of liked it. And so yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Subscribe, like the video, do all the things you know what to do. And so yeah, bye. <laughs>